Are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> we got the sound on, right? Yeah. <laughs> Good. We got to have the sound on so he can capture every single screen. How cold do you think it's going to be? <laughs> Good morning. You're watching The Green Dream Project. Welcome back. Now, if you've seen our last video, you know that I've been dumping sand into the pit that we're using to build our off-grid rainwater harvesting cistern. If you didn't, go back and check that out. But it's looking really good. I got the whole thing covered in a layer of sand. I got a little bit more sand in here. So this morning, I'm gonna get back in there, take the shovel, spread that around, and then we're gonna get to tamp. We want that sand nice and tight there at the bottom. I'm excited on the progress that we're making on this. So what you up to? Sifting soil. This is probably my least favorite activity of <laughs> so I'm glad you're doing it. I don't mind it. Meanwhile, I gotta get back down into that pit. I've got to spread some more sand around. Now I'm gonna show you what I'll do next. Do you know what I'm gonna do next? Tamp. That's right. She stole my shovel. Can you see that? That's the shovel I was using for the sand. And your cart. <laughs> what? <laughs> Lady's choice, I guess. She gets the choice of all the tools. That's what happens. If you're out here first, you snag all the good tools. How's it going from the bottom of the pit? How many of those you got to do? About 32. Dang, I'm glad it's you, not me. How many of those you got to do? I'm trying not to think about it. Too many. All right, so last night I was out here dumping more sand in and then just spreading it around with the shovel. I got a little bit more here. I'm going to spread that around and then I'm going to tamp it down. There might be some people wondering, hey, how come you aren't using your handmade tamp? That's a good question. I thought for the sand here, this one might be a little bit more appropriate. I mean, we had it. Nice, flat steel tamper. I think it'll be good for this application. If you're looking for a good upper body workout, definitely look into tamping. Woo! I was just kidding, Jess. You want to switch jobs? Nope. Gotta try. <laughs> I gotta be careful I don't move too far back. I don't want to fall into the pit. Ah! So I got my first layer of sand spread out, tamped down, ready to go. I'm gonna start putting in more sand. Mainly I wanna get a good protection from the ground, make sure there's no large uh, rocks that may protrude through the sand. It's just to protect everything above it. Well, I gotta move quick. We're already getting into the late afternoon and there could be rain expected. In fact, the chances of rain are going up quick. So I'm gonna keep dumping in sand tamping it down i got to get moving i'm hoping that uh if we do get the rain it doesn't hold us back as much as it did the last time but you never know i just do what i can do what's up we're expecting more rain we could get another storm tonight so we're trying to get as much work done as we can and i'm going to pump a little bit more water into our trailer In case anyone doesn't know, this is how we get water into our trailer. We just gravity feed it from the tanks right to the trailer. Uh, eventually, if they get low enough, uh, we have to pump it in, but we haven't had to do that in a while. And eventually, once we get the cistern set up and we get the house built, this will be a thing of the past.
We did get some rain last night. Not too bad, everything's still pretty solid. I'm not slipping around in the mud. So we'll just get back to it. I'll keep shoveling sand in this hole. Just gonna keep sifting through that soil we got and uh, we'll just keep moving along on this project. <sighs> All right, let's get going. Hello, oh, what did you find over here? <laughs> Look at this. Nice, that's look like a nice healthy little worm. Okay. Earthworm, earthworm. Yeah, we can't have them. <laughs> it's not earthworm bag building. You want to do with that little guy? Put it in the mulch pit. Oh, how cute and slimy. So things are looking good. So it looks like we're a couple inches higher on the west side of this pit, which doesn't surprise me because that's kind of where I was like dumping all the sand. So probably get more sand in there, try and spread that around and try and raise up some of these other areas. Oh, you can't see a thing. And here I am, what's up? I gotta stop the clackety clack. All right, would you look at this? Would you look at this? It's beautiful. It's beautiful. So, yeah, you know, just uh, constantly dumping sand in there, moving it around. We got some footage of us going around with the water level. I had to put some more sand in. We went around again. Everything is looking good. That's how you take care of your back, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you take care of, don't neglect your back. We're busting it out over here. Is that an authorized stretch? In the book of, uh, in the book of legal stretches, is that authorized? Um, in my book. <laughs> I wanna kinda of get to the next layer, which is putting a tarp over the bottom of this, but I have to wait. I'm thinking it might be a bad time. We're expecting that rain. I don't wanna throw tarps down there, have it collect a bunch of water, and then who knows how long it would take to drain that down there. Yeah, so I'm gonna be busy helping her. Uh, we're gonna keep sifting that dirt, cause like how many, how many carts do we have right now? We have four carts of sifted dirt. And how many do we need? 32 altogether for our first course of bags. <laughs> <laughs> Yikes. So I'm going to help her get some more soil sifted. That way we'll be ready to go to lay some bags. Good morning. I honestly thought this morning I would wake up to a pretty big storm, but it looks like we have a slight reprieve. We could be getting rain soon. If it hits, I mean, that's the one thing about here, you never know. It says it could be 60, 70% chance of rain, but then it never happens. Then it says it's not gonna rain and then psh, downpour. But I can't wait around and see if it happens or not. I gotta be out here, I gotta be working. So I'm gonna try and get it as much soil sifted as I can before those rains hit. started just as I was finishing the 12th cart full full of uh, sifted soil but uh you know what I ain't gonna let this stop me can't stop won't stop not until the rain comes down a little heavier <laughs> I'm gonna try and get as much of this done today as I can Well, it's really starting to come down now. Uh, everything's starting to get real sticky. Uh, we're expected to get an inch with this, or close to an inch with this storm, we'll see. You know, it's, it's always tough to tell out here in the desert. I'm gonna lay some tarps down on the sand very soon. I didn't want to do it now because I figured with this rain, laying some tarps down, I just think that whole pit might get soaked and I didn't wanna, I didn't wanna risk it. But once the rain comes down, I'm gonna throw some tarps down there and hopefully we'll have all that soil sifted. So I got about 16, cartfuls right now I need I'm aiming for 32 before we start so wish me luck how cold do you think it's gonna be <laughs> Ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> 